We believe the combination of Manchester Bidwell Corporation's adult career training, youth arts education, and social enterprise model has successfully addressed the need to redefine local communities. Our powerful fusion of mentorship, education, beauty, and hope creates a safe space where our students, younger and older, can feel comfortable learning. It wasn't the best childhood. I grew up in foster care at some point to live with relatives for a lot of my life. But once I came here, it opened my eyes that there was more than what I just, what I knew or what I saw in life. So yeah, it definitely gave me hope. This place is where I found myself. I mean, literally found who I really am. I wasn't a caregiver anymore. I wasn't a abused wife. I was a student and I got that back here at this place. To share this better way forward with other cities, we incorporated the National Center for Arts and Technology. The National Center for Arts and Technology offers a five-step replication process for communities interested in a center for arts and technology in their city. This initial step allows NCAT to exchange information with representatives of the interested community to determine if the model will benefit their area. Once a positive determination is made, feasibility begins. Feasibility produces a due diligence study that determines whether a city, town, or community possesses the characteristics necessary to develop, open, and ultimately sustain a Center for Arts and Technology. The city's leadership formally enters this phase of replication by signing an engagement letter with NCAT and making its first financial commitment. Planning begins with the city's leadership or funders signing a planning memorandum of understanding for a 12 to 18 month term. This phase takes a city through the actual process of planning and opening a center. Upon completion of this phase, the city will be an official NCAT affiliate with its own program plan, board, and executive director. Implementation includes the first three years of operation and begins when a center offers its first class. Once the center is open, the NCAT team works with the city's leadership to develop a sustainable funding mix of government and corporate support, as well as helping achieve other operational goals. Once a Center for Arts and Technology has been operational for three years, it enters maintenance, where our NCAT team will continue to provide technical assistance and support. The National Center for Arts and Technology now supports multiple operational affiliates across the country. Thousands of students have already benefited from programs offered by the National Center for Arts and Technology affiliate sites. People have a chance to have a real life, hope, opportunity, and most importantly, their children have hope and opportunity. You can literally change the destiny of a whole community, maybe someday the whole world. With the goal of 100 centers across the nation and 100 worldwide, the National Center for Arts and Technology will truly develop the community through hope, inspiration, and innovation.